Hey, this is Arjen here. I got this Lego train for my 6th birthday about 30 years ago. And despite all the cool trains Lego made after this one, uh, this one remains my favorite. It's uh, not complete anymore. I need to bricklink some parts for it. And uh, I also want to replace the parts with bite marks. <laughs> I love to tune my Legos when I was a kid, unfortunately. There's one downside with this train, it has a red 12 volt motor and as some of you know I use the 9 volt system that you see here. But the 9 volt train motors come only in black, like you see here. I've done it, I've used this motor on this locomotive, but it doesn't really look nice. And next to that you don't have the cool moving rods that you see here. So. I came up with the solution of using a 12 volt motor on a 9 volt rails. So when you have a 9 volt motor like this one, um, you can open them up by, let me show one that is still closed. There are some clips over here and you, cut, you can cut them away with a Stanley knife like that. You just need to use some force and they'll just uh, pop off. Don't worry, you can close the motor after war afterwards. So when you do so, you can lift it like that, use a, a small uh, screwdriver or you can also use the Stanley blade for that. When you open it up, this is what is, is inside, it's just a combination of some gears and the electrical motor itself. So what you basically do is you just remove the electrical motor like that and that's it. Um, now if you look closely, you can see that there are some um, metal strips along the sides that connect the wheels that pick up the power from the rails to a connector that's over here on the top side. So let me just close it up and you can see it a bit better. So if I put it like that, if I apply a voltage on the rails, um, it doesn't do anything because I've taken out the electrical motor, but um, it transports the voltage from the rails to this little connector over here. And with this connector, I can make a connection to the 12 volt motor. Let me grab a 12 volt motor, this one here. It's a black one since I only have one red one. So uh, for this demonstration, I use this uh, black one over here. What you basically do, is make a connection with a cable uh, like this one. I've soldered one, you can use also screw terminals or something like that. And one side is just a normal standard 9 volt connector that goes up here. And the other side has two little connectors that um, they used in the 12 volt era, which fit in here. You can use also other connectors like standard uh, banana connector stuff like that it'll fit also probably um, they don't have to be special lego ones this one has to be because it has studs and it needs to be fixed on the lego motor like that all right so now we have a connection so when i now power the rails you'll see that this one here picks up the power transport it transports it through this wire here and this one gets powered and the wheels will be turning. Um, the same system can also be used for a PF motor. This one here. Because when you're uh, really done with changing batteries like I am, <laughs> you can use a connector like this. It's a bit different. The 9 volt connector is the same one. It's just a normal standard 9 volt connector that you see here. The other one is a PF connector, but a PF connector has um, four connections and you have to use the inner two connections. The inner two connections of a PF con connector are for the power distribution. The outer two are for communication and other stuff that we don't need. So you can just hook them up like that. That one over there, connect the connectors like that. And now you have a working system of a PF motor that doesn't run on batteries but on the power of the rails. Yippee! 
So the last obstacle that we need to take is um, we need to hide this little motor. Um, there's a little problem here. On this side we can put a magnet to connect it to the locomotive. But on this side we cannot put a magnet since uh, there's this connector here. And so we cannot connect other wagons. And that's a bit of a shame since now we have only a very short train like that. Um, so we need something to hide it. So I came up with uh, this wagon over here. It's also from the same era as this locomotive. And um, this is the dummy motor. And as you can see here, here's already the 9 volt connector. I'm connecting it to the dummy motor. Put the dummy motor on the base plate like that. And put it on the rails. Now, you see here st still two disconnected connectors. And that's because um, I use a different system. Let's put it like that. I'm planning on using different locomotives with a red motor. So um, by making a system like this, I can easily switch locomotives without uh, tearing down the whole locomotive itself to be able to um, pull out the connectors. So you can use a system like that, like I showed you. This is just my version. It's a bit more easy to handle for me. So. We connect this small connector here, like that, connect it like that, and now it's ready to run. So let's have a look how that looks. Um, this is a 9 volt system, this is a 12 volt motor, so it doesn't run at full speed, but it doesn't matter, because when you run a 12 volt motor on 12 volt speed, you'll see that it will fly out every curve. So uh, 9 volts is actually a very nice speed for this motor as well. So I'm going to show you now what the speed actually is when you put 9 volt on the rails. So let's have a look at that. Thank you for uh, watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section and uh, I'll make sure uh, to reply to that. Um, have a good one and see you next time. Bye!